Hello, today we're going to show you how to configure a new NRT onto the Neon server. And to do that, we need to do a few steps. Um, none of them are complicated, we just have to work through them step by step, one at a time. Uh, we have to log into the Neon server. We're assuming that you've already got your Neon account, username and password. So you log into the server, create a new node to hold the logger, add the logger to the node, and then we can take the information from the Neon server and configure it into the NRT, and then initialize the NRT onto the server. Once that's done, we just have to wait for the data to come in and confirm that everything's working perfectly, which it should be. So, the first thing we have to do is log into the Neon server. Okay, so we need to log into the Neon server first of all. Uh, most people will be on our Unidata's main Neon server, which you go to at neon.unidata.com.au. You'll be presented with this screen. You just enter your username and password. We're just using a demonstration account. When you log in, you'll see a screen much like this. The top left of the screen shows the NEON network. That's where your NEON sites appear. Uh, we just have a parent node at the moment with no, no sites below it. So the first thing we need to do is add a node, which usually represents a, an NRT site. So you name, name the node according to your usage, but it's normally going to be just the site name. Um, the main, main uh, items to look out for when you're adding a new node, apart from the name of the site, the parent node determines where in your node hierarchy on the left this new node is going to be added. So you can, you can create nodes to contain regions and sites, whatever sort of hierarchy you, you like. You can contain NRTs by function, like all rainfall measurement sites or, or whatever. Uh, the node type is important. There's a selection of pre-configured node types depending on the usage that the NRT is being used for. Uh, but for our demonstration purposes, we'll just use a data access node type, and that's just a standard data collection node. Uh, you'd also need to set your time zone. We're in WA, but you'd, you would change that to suit your location as well, or the NRT's location. Apart from that, you just push save, and Neon adds the node to the tree.